Hello, chest mic. One, two, hello. All right. All right, so um, good morning once again to my uh, grade 7 science class 7B. Um, I've decided to start with a new lesson today. Um, I think we had what we had last time was about the dispersion of light and I just uh, before I get to start uh, making this video uh, I have already created the assessment or the activity for your creeper for the dispersion of light so check it out and the video lesson is also found in my channel so all you have to do is just to write www.youtube.com forward slash you put C then another forward slash you put there Tonwins 11 that would be my channel then right away go to the lesson playlist and you will encounter there the lesson about the the latest lesson about the dispersion of light so uh, we're supposed to have other topics in physics that is uh, still we are to continue but what we decided that uh, we, I talked with Mam Nissel. Uh, just I texted with Mam Nissel this morning um, we decided that we we forego with the fourth quarter lesson because uh, I think uh, with the situation that we had right now um, I think it's better for us to be able to be starting with the fourth quarter lesson so the lesson for today is not any more about physics but uh, more about uh, what you call your earth science so so this is the field in your fourth quarter that talks about uh, earth science however to be specific for today what we have today is no specifically your uh, this topic in your your, your creeper which is locating uh, places on earth now i believe that uh mom Nissel mentioned that uh Sir Javon was able to uh, discuss this one already in your geography, in your uh, in your geography, wherein you are able to locate different uh, places by using a map, by using the coordinates, the latitude, and the longitude. Now, more or less, this will be just a review of that lesson, and um, expect that later on in your in your in your in your assessment, your activity for Kuiper, you are to locate different areas based on either I will be giving you the latitude or the longitude or if not i'm going to give you the address and you are to find the exact uh, the the answers to those questions all right so what we're going to talk about today is actually just um, simply with the topic itself it says uh, it talks about your locating uh, places on earth now let's go right away no, uh, let's not. This is a very short lesson, and I'm do, I'm not going to make this a, a video so too long for you to to bore out yourself and not uh, not enjoy no the the lesson anymore. However, I'd like to shout out uh, uh, to the same people who are continually um uh, doing their their creeper activities. Um, shout out to Miss Labag, Miss uh, Miss Tangilan. Uh, I think uh, Miss Langbayan answered lately that the, the acti one activity. Um, who else? Uh, Mr. Osias, Mr. Aquino, Miss Gonzalez. Uh, thank you for for uh, continually uh, accomplishing your quipper activities. I hope that you'll be an inspiration to your classmates and kindly please um, inform them that you are to um, you are to they are to uh, accomplish these activities no um just to give you a heads up no we, uh La Trinidad has not able to did not de uh, decide yet on what would be the 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 setup for classes to be either to resume uh, as soon as the uh, the ECQ uh, will be lifted on uh, April 30 or maybe the same with uh Baguio City that even though they will be lifting the ECQ on April 30, uh, students are not required to return right away until the end of May. So in that case, kung ano man yung mangyayari po, um, I'd like to just emphasize that no, sa, sa, sa liit ng time and there will be less of us meeting maybe someday in the future, the matatapos na po yung fourth quarter, eh, wala kaming pagbabasihan ng pagkuhanan ng grades nyo only through these um, activities that you have 
through your Kuiper activities. That's the reason why I myself, no, as your teacher, I know that it's really very hard for you to to just read and not even understand what you are reading and answering those questions, no, and still learning did not happen there. So I'm trying to to give an effort on making this a video lesson for me to be able to to expound to you more about the lesson and give examples for you to be able to relate and later on have a better scores in your Kuiper activities. So let's go now to your uh, to this topic about uh, your kind uh, your lesson 17.1 which uh, the entitled locating places on earth. Now let's go to the objectives of this lesson. At the end of the lesson you should be able to Number one, identify the common features of map or of a map or globe. Uh, number number two, use a map or globe to locate specific places. This is something that we're going to study right now. However, no, um, I'll be also giving you uh, uh, as we are now on the the uh, no, on the dawn on actually on the uh, advent of technology that you can use other technologies aside from this two stuff that was mentioned here. Number three, demonstrate how places on earth may be located by using a coordinate system. And number four, understand how the imaginary lines are used to locate specific places on earth. Alright? So let's go directly to what are these different stuff. So if you get to see here, I'll take out my picture para hindi matabunan. Alright. So you get to see here that in this... In, uh, in this slide, no, the Earth is composed of seven continents surrounded by different bodies of water. Now, to be specific, um, the land mass that is uh, above water, which are actually the continents no, that is found here on Earth, is actually just one-fourth, no, composed of only one-fourth of land. We are only composed of one-fourth of land, and the, the rest of the three-fourths is actually the vast water bodies that surrounds those land masses so if you get to see here what are the seven different uh, continents that uh we have here it's actually your north america your south america your africa um europe uh, asia your australia and at the bottom we have your antarctica so we have one two three four five six seven however if you're going to kano um ito naman um if you get to see the colors no these are actually kano um nag, uh this different co uh, continents evolve as the years go by because during my time when I was in high school way back how many years ago maybe 15 years ago um were only five continents no and that's the reason why if you're going to look at the olympic rings no you have your olympic rings makikita natin po doon sa olympic rings na Meron pong limang rings to na different colors, which actually represents the five continents. However, right now, no, as uh, science is actually a dynamic uh, subject that it changes as the years go by, that we already have seven continents. Now, for us to be able to like, locate places on Earth, no, uh, we have options, no, like using the map or either a globe. So, for us to be able to see what's the difference between the two, no. Let's go first and what does a map look like? I believe that you already seen a map. All right, when you talk about your map, no, ang, ang, ang point po ng map is actually it's just a two-dimensional drawing. No, two-dimensional, 2D lang po siya. When you talk about 2D, no, it's a flat surface lang na naka-draw po lahat ng mga ng mga mga places doon and you get to see that in this picture, no, this is a map wherein it's actually a flat piece, a plane of paper that shows you uh, locations of the uh, no, locations of different places. So when you are later on to decide to become a map maker, no, uh, we have here what you call your cartography, which is the science of making maps. All right. So, meron po tayong mga places pa na not yet discovered, places that are uh, not yet. Uh, fully uh, develop in a way na hindi pa na shadong nakakagawa ng mga uh, hindi pa wala pa tayong exact na mga specific names of those places specific uh, this one and that one for that places so if you are planning to make a map and give direction to people who are who wants to go there study cartography just a science of making map 
right? So, map, no, a keyword there is just a two-dimensional drawing. Flat surface pong key, a keyword din po dito. No? So, what's the advantage of having a map? Ang map po kasi, pwede lang pong, uh, pwede mo palang, uh, pwede mo pong bulsayin. Um, map is really very convenient. Um, when I tried going to Singapore, and as soon as you get to land in Changi Airport, no, it's just the airport found in Singapore. Maps are really actually uh, maps are are available everywhere for free, that uh, especially for tourists who are visiting uh, Singapore that no, para ma ma enjoy po nila yung lugar at hindi po sila maligaw. No, maps are actually um given free or you can just get it from the counter for free um, as opposed to Philippines where in you are to buy those maps um, if you go inside uh, we experience also going inside uh, the Universal Studios or maybe if you went to Hong Kong no, uh, you have your Disneyland the Hong Kong Disneyland uh, you need a map for you to be able to, to locate places and maybe prioritize first you want to go to, go to this place first and be, uh, next this one and that's that one and until such time that no maikot mo yung lahat and makita mo na map or not naikot ko na ang buong uh, 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 Universal Studios or uh, Disneyland so ang a map is really very important and really very uh, convenient for you because you can bring it everywhere you can fold it you can place it inside the bag so how does it differ from a globe? Now we have a globe, no? If two-dimensional po ang, ang map, uh, for globe, it's actually a three-dimensional representation. Paano pong three-dimensional? Kasi it's actually now, no? If you're going to look at, uh, you put, put that one into the um, mathematics context, no? Ang two-dimensional po is just length times width. So pag meron po tayong, no? Alright, let's say for example, uh, we have this one length times width, alright? So, puta muna tayo dito. Alright. Ito po is actually a flat surface, no? So, if you're going to talk about two-dimensional, it's just the length and the width of that something. So, you get to see that this is a flat plane paper, right? However, if you're going to talk about your 3D, I'm going to make this, this paper now a 3D and form like a cube that you have now what you call your three-dimensional, which is your, your, your length, your, uh, your length, your width, no? your length, your width, and your height, which is three, uh, three aspects now that's composed of your three-dimensional. So, pag flat lang po, ganun, no? makikita natin, it's just your length and your width. Pero pag ginawa po nating 3D na ito, meron na po tayong sinasabing ito po yung length, ito po yung width, and makikita po natin meron pong height, yung pataas na ganun. So, ito po yung 3D. Now, the same as your globe, you get to see here in your globe that in, in a globe, no? 3D po yung globe. Kasi kung ano yung itsura ng earth, spherical po yung, spherical po siya, and you get to see that's actually an actual, almost actual representation of the Earth and the different places found inside Earth. So, unique features of your globe, it models the Earth's tilt even, no? And represents Earth's position relative to the Sun, which is, as opposed to your map, you cannot do this one. However, if you're going to look at, no? Ang advantage nito is you get to be able to, uh, kwa, no? to, to better understand because, no? Yung shape ng Earth yung na-follow. Pero the disadvantage for your, for your, for your, uh, for your globe is that it's not convenient for you to be bringing this one whenever you go to other places and you're bring your green, you you're bringing a ball, no, or a globe with you and para para kung doon na nagdadala ng 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 globe instead of uh, kwa, no? ng globe instead of uh, using just a map, alright? So ito po yung difference nila, so. Either way, if you have a map or you have a globe, they both show, no, they they both uh, let you show locations. Now, let's go now to the, ano, kasi parehas silang nagsishow ng location, parehas po silang meron tayong tinatawag na coordinate system. Now, when you talk about your coordinate system, no, so coordinate system po natin meron tayong tinatawag na Cartesian plane. Now, in your math, no, your mathematics, no, Yung Cartesian plane po natin is just your graph. No? Your Rene, if you can remember Rene Descartes, no? He was the one who uh, gumawa po nito. And, uh, alright, if you are to 
uh, let's get a piece of paper. All right. Wala akong piece of paper. But anyway, um, when you talk about, ano, when you talk about your, 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 your Cartesian plane, meron po tayong yung parang ganun, no? We have your, what you call, this is why your y-axis and this is your x-axis na parang cross. Alright? If you're going to look at that one, no? We have your quadrant 4, quadrant 3, quadrant 2, and quadrant 1. So, ito po yung tinatawag natin na Cartesian plane. May cross po na line doon. That's the reason why it can be related to your to your globe or to your map and it will be we will be able to know no the exact position of different places uh on the globe now let's go back no let's go back to those uh one and that uh when we have your what you call your your uh no? intersecting lines or cartesian plane po tawag dyan. so as a whole we call that one your gcs or now for geog uh, we call that one your geographic coordinate system, which is actually an imaginary grid. When you talk about grid, no, think of a screen. Yung screen po na uh, bahay ng manok, di ba? Parang grid yun, ganon. Pag meron po kayong cellphone and sa photo po meron kayong nakita ng barang mga line, those are what you call your grid. So meron po tayong imaginary lang po, uh, no? When you talk about your, ano? When you talk about your when you talk about the screens of yung, yung parang sa screen ng chicken, when you talk about yung, yung grid ng mga, kung may lines pag nagpipicture kayo, meron siyang line, kasi minsan hindi lumalabas yun, pero mas maganda pag ilabas nyo yun, it's actually a grid, no? That will tell you, no? The imaginary grid. Hindi po ito totoo na meron pong mga grid dyan po sa, uh, kung na yan, no? Sa, sa globe natin, or sa map natin, those are just imaginary. You know? With those grids there, we have different numbers assigned there that later on, we'll be using for us to determine the locations of places. So, ano tawag natin dyan? You have your geographic coordinate system. Alright? So, coordinate system, meron na gagamit sa math per specifically, if we're going to use this one for your geography or your earth science, we use, we call this one your GCS or your geographic coordinate system. Now, let's go now to the next. No? Makita natin yung imaginary lines this time. Alright, so we have there, no? We have there what you call your your grids on the globe or your latitude and R. No? When you talk about your latitude, no? These are the horizontal. So, paano ba pag horizontal? Pahiga po. No? Pahiga po. No? Pag sabi natin, uh, longitudes, no? We call that one your vertical lines or sila po yung patayo. So, if you talk about this one's here, this one, that one, this one there, this one, those are your latitudes, no? Latitude po yan. Yan. When you talk about this standing lines here, your vertical lines, these are your, you know, longitudes. Right? So, how does this help? You know, how does this grid or how does this uh, geographic uh, coordinate, coordinate system help you for us to be able to locate can locate um, uh, different uh, kung ano, places. So, meron po tayong latitude and longitude. So, mar meron po, as mentioned earlier, as I mentioned, no, meron po mga numbers na assigned po dyan. So, dapat lang po malalaman muna natin sa longitude and latitude na dyan kung saan po yung zero. ba? Whenever we count, we don't actually start with zero, but we know that before one, it's actually zero. So, we start with where is, hanapin po natin kung saan yung zero. So, puntahan po natin, no? And try to locate kung saan banda yung zero dyan. When you talk about your latitudes, no? Ito po yung itong line na ito na sinasabi ko, no? Those are your horizontal line. It's actually at your equator, which is actually your zero degrees. If you can still remember this one in your EP, your equator is actually the exact half of, the horizontal half of the earth, no? Ito yung exact half. So, ito, dito, no? If you're going to relate this one in your, kwan, no? In your earth science, anybody who is uh, living or places that are found on the equator is actually experiencing the hottest area, no? Ito. So, ano bang gamit ng equator na ito? Malalamin natin kung sino po yung nasa taas, papunta sa taas, and sino pa yung papunta sa baba. No? So, the topmost part, di-divide ni latitude yung, ako ano? Alright, so, makita natin yan sa dyan, no? I-divide ng, ng globe, so si equator po nasa gitna. 
So, i-divide niya yung sinong nasa taas at sino yung nasa baba. Now, if you get to sino, the degree increases at this approaches 90 degrees north latitude. So, yung north pole po na nasa taas, no, pina, ito yung half zero. So, papunta-punta ng taas, 90 po. Yung papunta-punta din po ng pababa, ito po yung tinatawag na 90. So, it's just a matter of trying to put a direction there. So, we have 90 degrees since it goes up, it's 90 degrees north. No? If it goes down and down, what you call that one would be your 90 degrees going south. Alright, that's the reason why here in your, uh, ano, nakikita natin, it's 90 degrees north. No, or 90 degrees south, or just by representing, put, putting letter in there. So you still remember this one in your physics, no? whenever we, we use, the, we, we use uh, vector quantities for us to be able to put your an final answers with vector quantities, which is the magnitude plus your direction. Alright, so yan po yung latitude, right? So makikita natin actually in, your, in this picture right on the side here, we call we have also your lines of longitude. So saan po din po yung tinatawag nating zero sa so my longitude. So puntahan po natin. Alright, so in your longitude, no, it says here that the zero, which is the red line, he, uh, red line here, that is red vertical line here, will determine the left or the right or simply your west and your east. no. So malalaman natin saan ba banda, ano ba tawag natin dyan. Kung meron tayong equator na which is the zero part for the horizontal, now that your, your, your vertical would be, no? your zero also there, that will determine that going to the right is east and going to the left. No? So, if you get to see there, no? that line there which is, which is a red line no? in, in this picture that you have, it will determine going to the right that is actually your east and going to the left is actually your west. So pag si equator, nagdi-determine siya sino si north at sino si south. Ito pong longitude na zero part which will determine your east and your west is actually what you call your prime meridian or what you call your zero degrees longitude. It divides your western and your eastern hemisphere. It passes through your Greenwich and England, hindi po Greenwich, uh, Greenwich, right? So, you pronounce that one with the, the um, silent W, right? So, alam na po natin si equator latitude, yan po yung zero si equator. Pag si, si longitude naman yung patayo, yung zero part, we call that yun yung prime meridian, alright? So, please remember that one, alright? Let's go on. Now, Alright, so, paano ma natin magagamit na dito, no? Alright, so, meron po tayong tinatawag na dito na mga, ano, eto mga meridian. Since we talk about, ano, we have your, dig, uh, it says here that, excuse, the degree increases as it moves westward or eastward until it reaches the longitude opposite to the prime meridian is actually your, anti-meridian. Makikita po natin dito na pag iikutin mo kasi yan, yung mga lines na ito, ikutin mo dyan, and babalik ka din naman pala dito sa other side. No, we call that one your anti-meridian. So, makikita natin 20 degrees ito, uh, 20 degrees west, 40 degrees west, 60 degrees west, and you go there, that uh, you add another 20, which is 80, and so there, iikot yan, yung buo pong ikot na yan is actually 180 uh, degrees longitude, alright? Kasi, it, actually, yun yung, yung half, no? Half, alright? Half of a circle is actually 180 kasi 360 yung buong ikot. Alright? So, ito po yung tinatawag natin na anti-meridian. Alright. As I mentioned last time, no? In your coordinate system, it's, uh, ako, no? Para siyang, uh, sa coordinate system, para siyang Cartesian plane na meron yung cross mo. So, this is your this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. Now, it's mentioned here already. So, para din ganun. No? So, sino ba yung si y-axis? Sino ba yung nakatayong linya? So, yun po is being represented by your your longitude. No, sino po yung x-axis po natin? Siya po yung tinatawag natin mga latitude. Now, sino man yung matamaan po sa gitna na yun, no? In that area, or for example, that would be the place called Manila. So, ilang pong degrees yon according to your latitude, and ilang degrees din po yung according to your longitude, doon na natin magagamit yung coordinate system for us to be able 
no to uh, for us to be able to you know uh locate these different places all right so ito na po siya cartesian plane is related to your coordinate system all right so yan po siya so makikita natin latitude varies from 0 at the equator 90 north uh, pupunta pa taas po is 90 degrees papunta po going down is 90 degrees south now halfway there we call that when you're 90 uh, 45 degrees because half of 90 would be your 45 all right so it also goes here that if you have your meridian prime meridian here you know look longitudes vary from zero at greenwich 280 east or west so pag ikot doon and pag ikot doon no it's so actually go, go for this if this is the line of the prime meridian going there to the back which is half no which is your 180 ito naman east going sa kabila then no it's actually 180 so Para sing mag-cross later yan. Kasi meron, ka, meron tayong, ano, makikita natin, meron tayong pag anong line at meron tayong patayong line. So, meron point silang pwedeng pagmitan mamaya. So, let's move on and try to understand more, no? Para malalaman natin. Alright. So, let's say for example, no? Ito, makikita natin dito, this map, it's so small. Identify the latitude which intersection, it intersects in the location. No? So, determine the degree from the equator and indicate its direction, north or south. So, sabi dito, anong gagawin? Latitude lang po. So, latitude daw, no? Bold natin to para mas klaro. Alright? Latitude. So, makikita natin dito, no? Alright, let me make another slide. And let's make this one bigger. Alright? Let's enlarge this one. Alright, so makikita natin dito, no? That here in this in the Philippines, no? Alright, so sa Philippines po makikita natin, no? You get to see that this is a broken line. This is actually your... Ito ba? Ah, no? Ah, this is, no? You get to see, not the broken line. You get to see that, no? And this coordinate system that we have we have the zero degrees here no exactly uh, near philippines no kasi ang ano pang pinapahanap dito pinahanap pinapahanap no po yung manila so try nating hanapin yung manila now you get to see that here this is the map of the philippines here and if you're going to base this one no according to the latitude ano ba yung latitude yung pahiga po so it is a zero which is represented by your equator now, here, you get to see that at 15 degrees po, tamang-tama po yung linya niya, natatama po siguro more or less sa Philippines. So, more or less, masasabi natin na no, Philippines is actually around 15 degrees what? Kasi meron din tayong 50 degrees sa baba, meron din 50 degrees taas. So, what would be the exact direction for this one? I'm sorry if I'm... Alright, so, wala pala. Tama lang. So, Ano ba? 15 degrees sa itong taas ba or itong baba? No? So, for us to be, ano, to be specific with that, ito yung tinatawag natin 15 degrees north. So, makikita po natin dito, to be specific, kasi hindi natin na ma-zoom, no? It's around that number, which is 14.5 degrees north. Alright? So, kung meron tayong mas, mas, mas bigger na map, no? mas makikita natin exactly kung saan yung Manila. Alright? So, that would be only for your latitude pa lang. Let's go now to your... Ang alam ko, alam nyo na ito eh. So, ito sabi naman dito, longitude. No? Longitude. So, pag longitude, ano bang na... Uh, kung ito, linya. Ito po yung mga patayong linya. So, balik po tayo dito sa picture. Ito na yung mga put patayong linya. So, alam natin na dito banda is the zero degrees. No? Ito, zero degrees po yan. So, tingnan natin. You know that going to the right is east and going to the left is west. So, Saan ba si Philippines? Is it on the right or on the left part of the zero? So, obviously, no, makita natin that it's actually on going to the right. So, we, the, the, so, so it's so no? it's so obvious. It's already going east. So, tingnan po natin yung line na specific na around dyan, saan ba tatama? No? So, pinakamalapit po is 120 degrees. Pero hindi po siya actually parang pasok na pasok doon. So, we may say that's around 100, more than 120, around 123 maybe. And the direction would be east. So, tanayin natin kung tama yung answer po natin. Right? So, that's around 121 degrees east. So, 
ang gagawin lang po natin doon is just to no merge those two values along with their directions right the latitude first then the longitude separated by a comma all right so manila has a coordinate of 14 degrees north and 121 degrees east. Ito na po yung specific na nakita dyan. So, I hope that uh, you get to understand this one. no? And this is a way for us. Con I think that this just be only be a, con uh, a review for you. no? Uh, sa AP nyo. Alright? So, punta po tayo dito sa next. So, find the coordinates of C Sydney, Australia. So, uh, more or less, alam nyo na, no? This, the same thing that we're going to, uh, so Sydney is around in this area because this is your Australia continent. So Sydney is here, Melbourne is on the other side. So Sydney is around here. So kita po natin, latitude muna yung uunahin natin. So this is the zero. So going down, so alam natin pag down, north or south. So simply, it's south, no? So it's around, roughly around more than 300, thir ah, 300, I mean 30 degrees. So 30 degrees south, some more or less there. And let's try to go also to your longitude. So let's go and uh, see this uh, zero here. And going siya sa right, so more or less, that would be your east. And try natin tingnan dito. So around 150 no, degrees. So we can say that's around mga 31, 33 degrees uh, south. And we have your 150 degrees uh, east. All right, so let's try to see the answer. So, yan, yan. No? Malap, more or less, yan po yung kwan. Kasi hindi tayo hindi, hindi very detailed yung map natin. But the same goes, no? Yan lang po yung gagawin natin. So, paano pag binaliktad sa inyo? No? Ito naman, binigay sa inyo. Binigay sa inyo yung coordinates. So, this will be your... This will be your uh, latitude. No? The, the red one will be your latitude. Tingnan natin ito. And this will be your... Your longitude. So, longitude, ito po yung zero. No? Tapos, 51. So, ito po yung latitude. Zero po ito. So, pupunta tayo around here. So, more or less dito banda. So, 51. So, nandito na po yung pagkocross natin. No? Saan sila nag-cross? And you get to see. Ano? Hanapin nyo sa mapa kung ano yung lugar pong andyan. Alright. So, andyan. No? You have your city located there. So, it's actually London, England. So, marami pang example po. Na, kung ano, I'll be sending this one to you here. Ah, uh, uh, to your ano, to your Kuiper accounts. However, um, para mas madali po yung paghanap natin ng mga different places, no? Either we're going to find the name of that place and know the exact coordinates, or put the coordinates and to determine the place. Either way, vice versa po, mas easier po na instead of using a map or a globe, no? Meron na po na because of the technology right now and even at the hands of your smartphones, it just actually has no, meron po siyang GPS or what you call your global positioning system. This is just for navigation, mapping, and survey. So, hindi na po parehas dati na pag nakapunta ka sa, meron kang kotse, pumunta ka sa Manila, and first time mong magmaneho sa Manila, you have now your GPS for you to be able to to know the, the ways that you are going to pass by until you reach your destination. Alright, so, ano ba gamit ito? It signals from a satellite orbiting Earth. It's sent to your GPS receiver, enabling a person, him or her, to determine its own location based on data received. So, pakita natin dito sa, uh, sa picture na ito, no? Um, more or less, this is, uh, I think, Google, no? um, that is Google Map or Waze. No? So, either way, uh, they are both no, apps that is related to your global positioning system. So, pero makikita natin po sa sa global positioning system natin sa Waze at saka sa sa Google Map no. It's actually parang cartoons na mga map picture. However, if you tried no, let's try to ano, I will let you show. I will let you show anong uh itsura naman ng iba. All right. So try natin po uh I will let you show here no. Yung itsura po ng yung Google Map po no as more or less it's just a fun uh, it's just ganito po yung itsura niya diba more or less uh parang cartoons no so ganito po yung mga itsura no nakikita nyo sa Google sa Google Maps no so parang drawing lang siya however no if you want to all be able to know the exact pa, no? Talagang yung 
yung itsura po nung place na yon, no? Instead of using Google Map, no? You can use what you call your Google. Oh, change best change your Google Map. Medyo mahina po yung kwad ko kasi nagmumultay task na po yung laptop ko. So we have your Google Earth. Instead of using Google Map, try to use Google Earth. Then in your Google Earth, no? Makikita na natin a very a very ano? A very nice version of your Google Map. However, it's actually the true one. So, para na po siya yung totoo. Uh, sorry. I think, I'm not sure if I opened the, the correct one here. No. Pero, makikita natin po dyan, no, that Uh, my my face stuck was stuck I think ayun so oh, itsura niya talagang yung ano na talagang yung itsura ng nasa earth alright so yun medyo lagish na yung laptop ko no? not responding na siya alright but anyway no, makikita na talaga yung itsura doon no it's just a google map but then it really looks like the earth already. Uh, Google Earth usually uh, surveys this one, no? Gamit nila yung picture nila and using a camera on a satellite, they're able to determine this one. So, and anyway, um, punta po tayo ulit. Pati yung OBS ko po naghang. I hope na wag po siyang maghang. Ayun. Um, so, yun na po, ano? Makikita natin. So, ano bang ano bang kwan? Ano bang ano ano bang point ano bang pinupunto ko dito? Right? We can go now to what you call this one. All right. So, we had modern mapping technology, we have your GIS. So, meron po tayong mga terms like your GPS, your global positioning system. We mentioned also about your uh, GCS, your uh, your uh, geographical uh, geography uh, coordinate system, and you have your GIS or your graphic geographical information system. So, ito na po yung nakikita natin, no? On top of different layers that I've mentioned sa Google Maps nyo. Uh, I mean, sa Google Earth, this is to be specific, yung street data, tapos, na, lay, na, na overlay siya, na, no? So, una natin dito na yung street data, nakapatong po siya sa building data, na nakapatong po siya sa vegetation data, you talk about your vegetation data. These are your trees, your your different places, your land masses, and even your uh, water masses, no? Water bodies there. So, it uses satellite and computer software, and satellite captures data while software collates the data and displays the data on the screen. So, ito yung pinaka latest na po natin, no? So, so activity niyo ko no so i think i think uh, medyo mabilis ako pero hindi ko kasi gustong mahumaba yung yung video na ito no however ito po so as a whole try po nating i-review all right so you have your gcs used to locate specific places on earth now under your coordinate system you have your latitude and your longitude as mentioned here the modern technologies you have your gps no just like your your Google Map or your Waze, and we have your GIS, which is your Globe uh, Geographical Information System. Is it Geogra oh, yeah. Geographical Information System? Which is actually your Google Earth. Na try to, if you have your apps in your in your, in your phone, you have your Google Earth with you. I like you to uh, download one and try to be able for you to be able to relate because in these different activities that will be sending you, I'll be sending to you. No, uh, para pong ganito siya. No, so. You have your, let's say for example, place like Manila. So, ano ba yung long, long, longitude at latitude ng Manila? No? So, pwede nyo hanapin po yan sa Google Maps nyo. Let's try to, uh, let me try to, ano? To, let's try to, kwan po. Kasi, hindi ko masyad, I'm not, I'm not, ano, I'm not very familiar with, I'm not very familiar with, uh, and so, you get to see here that, uh, in this examples here, you have your KL, your Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, St. Petersburg, Russia, 
uh, Washington DC, uh, USA and Ottawa, Canada. So yan po. However, no, uh, try try kong ikwan no ipakita sa inyo kung kan. Um right, let me download the first uh All right. Sige, uh, let me show you this ko na lang, no? This. All right. So, andyan po. Makita ba? So, meron po tayong coin. Uh, yan po, no? App nyo. Hanapin nyo po sa Play Store nyo if you're using uh, ano, Android. Meron po tayong tinatawag na GPS coordinate na app dyan. You can download that one and after downloading, no, let me explain to you on how to use that one. So, let me download first kasi nasa isang phone ko po yung ginagamit ko. No? So, let's try to see. Mahina connection ko ah. Alright. It's just 1.35. So, try po natin dito, no? Alright. So, atras ko po konti. Alright. Yan. So, GPS coordinate. Yan. Yan. Makikita yan po yung GPS coordinate. So, you download that one until be able to... Uh, install that one after installing po alright let's just wait maybe the ako no the the Itong live stream ko po yung magpapahina sa internet connection namin. Anyway, ano saan tayo? Anyway, um, let's continue to pray, no? Uh, habang nag-install tayo, uh, let's just continue to pray na sana itong, itong, itong problema ng mundo eh, matatapos din, no? Sana uh, mapapabalik lahat ng mga yung normal na mga mangyayari. Meron tayong mga sasakyan, uh, pwede tayong lumabas, uh, mga trabaho, regular, yung mga farmers natin, regular na nag- Nagpa, nagdadala ng mga kwan mga nagtatrabaho, nagtatrabaho ulit so, yan. so, I will show you here so, ano po yung itsura ng uh, app na ito so, as soon as you go into open no, in your app, nakita natin sa, sa akin po kasi no, yan po yung itsura po sa akin eh kwan po ito. Ito po yung place ko. So, specific longitude, latitude ko po. Sorry. Yeah, alright. So, specific longitude, latitude ko po, eh, yan yung pong lugar ko. But, you can use, actually, you have that map here, no? Makikita po natin yung merong tawag na map dyan. So, i-click po natin yan. Alright? So, for us to be able to locate different places, so, lalabas po yung itsura na parang ganito. Uh, so, yan po yung address ko. So, wa, pasensya. Ayoko pong lumabas yung address ko. But, you can click the, kwan, no? You can click the, you have your search button here. No? Yan po. Yan parang magnifying glass na yan. So, 
all right use the search button there for us to be able to find a place so let's say for example uh, let's say for example Cordi cordillera cordillera career development college search natin po yun so search natin all right so search by address ayun po try nyo pong hahanapin yun that place so nandito po so all right nahanap nyo no yung place no you have your cordillera uh, career development college po dyan so nakita nyo na ng red na parang uh, kwan dyan no all right ayaw mag autofocus all right so wait lang no ayusin natin para mag steady yung kanya So, ito po. Tapos hold na lang natin. Alright. Help okay na. Alright. So, medyo malabo na ako. Pero, kikita na natin dito sa phone. Sorry. Kasi, hindi natin ma-relate. So, makita po natin. No? You, have your, you have your red stuff there. No? Nakikita natin natin sa red stuff there. And, ano ba yun? No? Ano yung barang lugar natin dyan? So, click natin po yan. And, makiklik natin yan. Actually, yan, makiklik natin. After clicking there, you get to see no, the, the exact uh, location of your ano, your uh, longitude and your latitude there. no. You have your north, east, south, west there. So, yan po yung makikita natin, yung specific place ng CCDC, yung coordinate natin. Try natin po ng iba. Alright? Try po natin na uh, ano bang magandang, uh, magandang lugar. Alright? So Share po uh, Try natin Chongsan So ito ba yung Chongsan wala silang sinabi but try na lang natin no uh, here um hanap tayo sa sabi dito meron tayong nakitang Benguet State University so so Benguet State University po nandiyan po no makikita natin diyan so ano bang specific uh, kuan yan nakita natin yung latitude and longitude diyan so yan po yung ma-answer niyo so I'll be making different stuff there, no different addresses there by using this app and you are to go to kano to write the exact location uh, using either either ibibigay ko po, no? Either ibibigay ko po yung yung uh, either ibibigay ko po yung uh, yung coordinates tapos de it determine yung location or ibibigay ko po yung yung uh, name ng address tapos kayo po maghahanap tong location. Alright? So I think yan na lang yan po actually yung kuha natin ngayon, no? yung yung concentration ng lesson natin ngayon and I hope that you're able to understand um then again if if you don't understand anything or having hard time understanding, uh, can you please just PM me to your Quipper accounts? I'm all, almost every day online, no? So I, I can be of help, no? Because yun nga, um, that's the, that's my job to be for you to be able to answer your queries related to your lesson. So once again, no, um, I'll not end this one long anymore. I just want you to be reminded that you are to finish this different kind of activities that we have. So again, if there are no questions, then I'll just call this one a day. Good morning once again, grade seven B, and God bless and ingat po kayo. All right, going out.